we caught up with world-renowned field artist Roger Baker. Roger creates masterpiece field portraits from 500,000 to nearly 2 million square feet. Not knowing what would come of this huge task, nevertheless, he pushed onward. And so began the 10-year journey known as the world's largest portraits. What happened is, if you just focused on the image in the field, it had a tendency, as you got to the center of the image, it had a tendency to tip up to about 40 degrees. It was just a few degrees shy of 45 degrees. And then all of a sudden your brain kicks in and says, this is not happening, it goes flat again. It would take more than 60 full-sized Statues of Liberty laid down around and on top of one another to fill the massive area encompassed by Rogers' Liberty Portrait. With its amazing detail, this field was a wonder to behold. This is a, my first drawing of Einstein for the field. And its relation, the size of the field in relation to the Empire State Building. I got a mark top on the paper. I mean, Hendrix probably played, he might have played his, his guitar upside down. Well, I should learn how to not use this drawing upside down. It doesn't work upside down. This is how I figured out how Elvis was going to look. Here's a picture of the field. Now I'm going to lift this up, and you're going to you're going to pan with it. And uh, so this is the this is the landing field. Here's Hang Glider Road and the bullseye and everything. And I took this picture from the road as a uh, you know from the scenic overlook as as, as a passerby and an onlooker would see it, tourist. So as we go up, I had tickets to see Elvis. My birthday was coming up, it was August 16th, Elvis passed away on my birthday. Graceland, yeah, they called up. But they called up, they said, Mr. Baker, we just got your submission for the 18th annual Elvis Tribute Week Art Contest. And I've got to tell you, we were absolutely floored. They sent me this box with this nice plexiglass, clear plex, or maybe it's crystal, Austrian crystal. thinking about changing from Coltrane and cutting Indian Larry. You know? I'm really considering that. I think it could be a good one. And, uh, I, you know, I think so. I don't know. But <clears throat> I got a real strong uh, compulsion to cut Larry. I have no idea where it would go, but I think it would be a home run.
Tomorrow would be a busy day. A lot of people would be arriving to attend a ceremony and to see the field, either by helicopter or plane, or perhaps to walk on it and feel the collective energy and emotion that went into its creation, and to consider the courage and sacrifice that inspired it. We met some Purple Heart recipients, friendly, genuine people, humbled by the honor of having received Purple Hearts for doing their jobs. 